In this video we're going to look at multiplying fractions where it might be an idea to cross cancel first uh, you know for sure and then uh, so we'll do these examples here see? and then after that we'll look at uh, when you've got exponents on fractions and uh, we'll do these examples okay and then uh, uh, sorry, then these examples here right okay well let's start with these guys where we're going to multiply fractions and it might be an idea to cross cancel first well let's just do the first one without cross cancel no big deal if you multiply fractions you can just multiply the tops and then multiply the bottoms right three times four is twelve right and twenty times nine is well two nines is eighteen twenty times nine would then be a hundred and eighty right and then you can cross cancel. I mean, I, I can actually, if you notice, 6 times tables, you see 6 into 12 goes uh, twice, 6 into 18 goes 3 times, and 6 into 30 goes 0 times. So that gives us uh, 2 over 30, right? Maybe I should do that in green. And then 2 into 2 goes once, 2 into, thir 2 into 30 goes 15 times, let's say. And so that gives us 1 over 15. So you can do it that way if you like. But uh, what I'm saying is, like some problems, especially like the next one, would be nice to cross cancel at the beginning because it's a lot less work. So you can cross cancel at this point. 4 to 4 goes once, 4 to 20 goes 5 times, and all that. Or even easier, cross cancel back here, you see? But you must do cross cancel with a number uh, a number on the top with a number on the bottom, right? So like 4, in, four goes into 20, doesn't it? So 4 to 4 goes once, 4 to 20 goes five times and how about the three into nine right three into three goes once three into nine goes three times that gives me one times one I'll write this out for fun one times one over five times three okay which is one over fifteen of course you didn't have to put in that step you could have just wrote one over fifteen I'm just putting it in for fun just to show that that's the next step right okay so um point is on this one yeah you can multiply 45 times 16 and then 4 times 135 but it's going to be a lot of work you might be better to cross cancel first so let's start with does 4 go into 16 right 4 does isn't it 4 and 4 goes once 4 into 16 4 times right now what about 45 and 135 can you cross cancel something there I'm thinking 5 would be a good idea right 5 into 45 nine times five into 135 just start with the 13 what's five into 13 five into 13 goes twice and the remainder is three I'll write that clearly there five into 35 goes seven times okay so that's good we have nine times four over one time is 27 and uh, you know I'm just gonna write that out 9 times 4 over 1 times 27 now can we cross cancel something else yep see the 9 27 9 into 9 goes once 9 into 27 goes 3 times so we've got 1 times 4 4 over 1 times 3 3 4 thirds Okay, and you know that you might know this is a mixed number, like four thirds. Three into four goes uh, one time remainder th one, so that's one and one third. But we're actually going to cover this these mixed numbers later on. So for now, we'll just leave the answer like that. Anyway, so you can you can just leave it as an improper fraction for now. We'll do mixed numbers later on. Anyway, so two fifths times twenty. Do you remember how to write a whole number as a fraction? How do you write 20 as a fraction? Something over something. It's 20 over 20 as a fraction, 20 over 1, right? Now, can we cross cancel something before we proceed? Something on the bottom with something on the top. Remember, it has to be something on the bottom crosses cancels with something on the top. Does 5 go into 20? Right, so 5 into 5 goes once, 5 into 20 goes 4 times. So we get 
2 times 4, 8 over 1 times 1, 1. And what's 8 over 1? Is that 8? Yep. Okay. Here's our next examples. By all means, press, you know, just try and do them faster than me and then check your answer. That'd be fine. I'm just going to do them nice and slow as usual. Uh, well, it slows again anyway. So, um, 1 quarter times 4. Let's see. 1 quarter uh, times. And can you write 4 in fraction form? What's 4 in fraction form? Is it 4 over 1? Right? And I know we can multiply that and get 4 over 4. If you multiply that, you would get 4 over 4, wouldn't you? And the which is, of course, what's 4 over 4? 4 divided by 4 is 1, right? But we're just for fun going to cross cancel here, because look, 4 into 4 goes once, 4 into 4 goes once, right? And that gives me 1 times 1, which is 1, over 1 times 1, which is 1. What's 1 over 1? 1 divided by 1 is indeed 1, right? Okay, so how about this guy? Here I think cross cancelling would be a nice thing to do if we could, right? This is kind of complicated. Okay, so, <clears throat> you know, something from the top times uh, cross cancelling with something from the bottom. So if you know your times tables, let's say I uh, look at 27, that's a multiple of 9, isn't it? Any, any 9 multiples down here? If you know your times tables, you might see, does 9 go into this guy too? Right? So what's 9 into 27? Is it 3? What's 9 into 54? Is it 6? Yep. Alrighty. And um, what else we got? Hmm. Well, you know, we've got 6 and 3 here. We can cross cancel those if you want to be nice and neat about it, though. You have to be quite neat now so you can show this. But uh, my point is, let me just take this out from the last example, sorry. My point is, you could go look, uh, you could use this 3 or this 3, it doesn't matter, but 3 into 3 goes once, 3 into 6 goes twice. So now you've got a 2 here. The 6 is gone now. you got a 2, see? Anyhow, um, t if you look at 48 and 40 or 48 and 32, do you see that th those are multiples of 8? Do you know your 8 times tables? Right? So 8 into 32 goes 4 times. 8 into 48 goes 6 times, right? Very good. Anything else you can cross cancel with the top and bottom? Yeah, I'm thinking uh, 2 cross cancels with 6 actually, and so does 4. Well, anyway, I'll do this 2 into 4 goes twice, 2 into 6 goes three times. So if you just write neatly, you know, you shouldn't make a mistake because now we have three times three times one on the top. I'm going to write that out just for fun. Three times three times one. You don't have to write this out, but I'm just going to do it anyway. On the bottom I've got two times two times forty, just to clearly show what we've been doing. Okay. So, and you can see that nothing cross cancels. I mean, three doesn't go into forty, does it? Three into forty? That won't go. So th this 3 doesn't go to 40 either, and obviously 3's and 2's don't cross cancel. So in fact we are definitely done here, I mean, there's nothing else to cross cancel now. So 3 times 3 is 9 times 1 is 9, 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 times 40, well 4 times 4 is, is 16, so 4 times 40 is 160. And there you go, 9 over 160, and that's in lowest terms now as well. So you've multiplied the fractions and it's in lowest terms, that's what we need. Right? Okay, let's look at exponents on fractions. If I had one third all squared, if the squared touches or is written beside the parenthesis, what that means is you have parenthesis times parenthesis, okay? So the squared, the exponent, means you multiply it by itself twice. So we get one third times one third, okay? And now 1 times 1 is 1, and 3 times 3 is 9, and that's the answer. Just multiply the tops, then multiply the bottoms. But what would you do if you had a cubed touching the parenthesis? Can you figure that one out? Cubed on the parenthesis means you're going to have how many? Two of them? Or maybe would you have three of them? Yep, three parentheses, right? 
And inside each one, what would you write? Would you have four fifths? Yep, four fifths. Now, can I cross cancel anything there? I don't think so, right? No, nothing. You can't cross cancel anything with the top and the bottom. That's all you can do. So, anyway, 4 times 4 is 16. And 16 times 4 is actually uh, 64, isn't it? 5 times 5 is 25. 25 times 5 is 125. I just remember this because I teach math. You know, I don't expect you to get that, that fast. Okay. So, <laughs> if I had a squared on a 2 thirds. And then it was been multiplied by nine eighths. Hmm. You know, at this point, I want to, might want to remember my uh, order of operations. PEMDAS. Remember order of operations. Okay. Which comes first, exponents or multiply? Which is it? Exponents first, and then multiply, isn't it? Yep. So. Um, the two thirds squared is simply two thirds times two thirds, and then it's been multiplied by nine eighths. So I'll deal with the exponents first, basically by you know doing that. And at you know at this point I just have everything being multiplied, so I could just go ahead and multiply everything, but. Um, you know, you could cross can because you just have three fractions being multiplied now. You could cross cancel if you want, right? You could go um, three into three goes once, and three into nine goes three times, right? Oh, I've got a three up here and a three down here. You see that? So once again, three into uh, three goes once, and three into three goes once. Put a one there. Don't forget your ones. And how about the twos and the eight? Two into two goes once, two into eight goes four times, right? And how about this two and this four? Two into two goes once, two into four goes um, twice, right? So what I actually get is one times one times one. I'm just going to write that out just for fun. One times one times one over. 1 times 1 times 2, 1 times 1 times 2, and that gives me 1 times 1 times 1 is 1, over 1 times 1 times 2 is 2, right? And that is definitely lowest term, so 1 half is the answer there, right? Um, let's have a look at these examples. 1 fifth squared times 3 over 2 squared. Well. If you think about them, that's you've got to deal with the exponents first, and then you get to multiply. So we don't multiply these right away, basically. We've got to first of all deal with the exponents. So a fifth squared is a fifth times a fifth, <coughs> right? Um, three over two squared is three over two times three over two. And now I can try and cross cancel. Is there anything to cross cancel? Oh, my mistake. I'm sorry, I didn't show you that. Okay. Now is there anything to cross cancel there? With the top and bottom? I don't see anything. Yep. So this guy becomes one times one times three times three. That's a nine on the top, isn't it? Five times five is twenty-five. And twenty-five times two is fifty. And fifty times two is 100. So 9 over 100 is the answer. Now let's have a look at this one. 1 third squared times 18 plus 1 half squared times 4. So we'll deal with the exponents first because of the order of operations PEMDAS. It says first of all deal with the exponents then multiply and, and everything else. right? And then add and all that. So we'll deal with the exponents first and we'll get 1 third times 1 third Now then it says times 18. Now can you write 18 as a fraction? That might be a good idea, huh? 18 is what over 1? 18 over 1? Yep. Then we've got to um, add, and, and you know I can just deal with this on its own. 
Um, yeah, I guess I'll just go ahead and just do this because it's more like PEM does when you kind of deal with the, these multiplying. Uh, so anyway, yeah, three into three goes once, three into eighteen goes six times, right? And what about six and three? Do they cross cancel? Three into three goes once, three into six goes twice. So that's one times one times two over one times one times one. Which of course is two over one. Which of course is just two. So that that becomes two anyway. You didn't have to write it all out, I just do it just to be clear. <coughs> okay. And uh, this half squared here is one half times one half, right? And how do you write 4 as a fraction? 4 over 1. Now simplify this guy. Cross cancel on him and see what you get. Press pause and see if you can do it before, see if you can do it. So how about 2 into 2 goes once, 2 into 4 goes twice. Anything else? 2 into 2 goes once and 2 into this 2 goes once, right? So actually get, you know, plus, and that's 1 times 1 times 1, 1 times 1 times 1, over 1 times 1 times 1, 1 times 1 times 1. So that's 1 over 1, which is, 1 over 1 is just 1. So I get, this becomes 2, this one becomes 1, and then at the end I add. So what I've done is, I'm following PEMDAS, I dealt with my exponents, then I multiplied the fractions, that was multiply. So the exponents are done here and here. Then I multiplied, okay, there's no divide, then I've got to add, right? So at the end is when I add, 2 plus 1 is 3. So I'm following PEMDAS there, right? Order of operations. Okay. <coughs>